When I first started out my career in horticulture, it was in Devon, and actually Devon pinks were one of the, the crops that growers would produce, and they would ship the strong stems of pinks nationally, all the way up to Covent Garden Flower Market, and then they'd be sold to florists all the way across the UK. And the reason that they could be grown in Devon and shipped all that way is because the characteristics of pinks is just awesome. They've got that uniquely clove fragrance to them. So when you actually sniffer, it just reminds me of clove, that the actual herb and spice that you use in, in cookery. The flowers are ruffled, so you've got layer upon layer upon layer of those lovely, uh, beautifully pinked edged flowers. And actually, do you know the difference between pinks and carnations? Well, if you've got a pair of pinking shears, because you do a bit of craft from time to time, you'll know it leaves a little pinked edge, which is a little serrated edge to the paper that you cut. Well, that's exactly what defines a pink. So when you see a pink, it will have that serrated edge, whereas a carnation has a smooth edge to it. So that's how we tell the difference between the two. But this collection has been basically taken, it's been modernized, and you've now got the best possible attributes you could wish for. So you've got the clove fragrance, you've got that lovely serrated edge, you've got those layered double flowers, but you've got many, many more flowers being produced between May and October every year. Still perfect for cut flowers, but these are compact, grown to about 40 centimeters tall, including the flower height, so perfect for pots on the patio. And if you want to bring fragrance and you love that clove fragrance, get these in pots right next to where you may sit on your patio or if you've got a courtyard garden, somewhere where you spend time outdoors, these will just bring an intoxicating clove-like fragrance to that area for you. They're completely winter hardy, very, very uh, pest and disease free, so anybody could have a go at growing these and you can do that with the confidence that you've got one of the latest breeding programs available for you here. So bigger flowers, more flowers, longer lasting flowers, even more pest and disease resistant. So they tick every single box. They're an absolute must. I love them. I love cottage garden plants. I love plants that really do uh, work so hard giving flowers over such a long time. And that's what these scented garden pinks do for you. So absolutely belting, get these planted in your garden this summer and let them flower their socks off all the way from May till October. Mm -hmm.